Hello. Good morning. I want to welcome you back to our class. Today we are looking at the part of Masaku. A question which I was asked yesterday and I promise to give the solution today. We are looking at the area of the shaded region in this particular diagram that I've already drawn for you. The question is said, one has to find the end of the shaded part. I think you can be able to see. Whereby we have a square that is enclosed inside a circle. And the radius of the circle is given as 7. Now, it is upon us to know the way we are going to calculate the area of the shaded part. So, I want us to do it together as you uh, follow or as you learn. The easiest thing to start from is finding the area of the sun. So we will say the area of the circle is always given pi pi r squared. Pi is 22 over 7. Radius is given as 7 centimeters. So substituting the pi and the radius in this formula, we will obtain our area is equal to 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. 7 goes to 7 once, 7 goes to 7 once. So we will remain with 22 times 7. 22 times 7 will give you 154 centimeters square. So that is the area of the circle. Now next we, sh we, we should look at how to determine the area of the square. Now, area of the square, area of the square, area of the square, is equal to the side square, which is the same as S square. Side square, which is the same as S square. Alternatively, you can say or that area will be the product of the diagonals. divided by 2. So that will also give you the area of a square. So in this case we don't have we are we, are, we don't have the sides. Instead we have the diagonals. As you can be able to see this is the side of the square which is not given. This is also another side of the square which is not given. But if you look at the, this diagram we have this diagonal. The length of this diagonal is 14. If you take this 7 plus 7, you will get 14. That means the length of this diagonal is 14. The length of the other diagonal is also 14. 7 plus 7. And, and I've said that for us to be able to obtain the area of a square, we use two formulas. We can take side square or we take the product of the diagonals, then we not having to divide by 2. In this question, we are not having sides, but instead we have the diagonals. So I prefer us using the diagonals. So we will now say the area of a square is equal to this diagonal, which is 7 plus 7, giving us 14. The other diagonal is also 7 plus 7, which is 14. Then you divide by 2. This will give us 2 will come here once. 2 goes to 7. I mean 2 goes to 14 7 times. So we will have 14 times 7. 14 
times 7. 14 times 7 will give us 14 times 7 will give us 98. So we will now say our area is 98 centimeters square. Now we will subtract these two areas for us to obtain the area, the area of the segments. Remember, if we, you know this angle, then let's say this is A, B, and this is the center. O, A, B become a sector of a circle. Whereby A, B is a chord. Therefore, this shaded part here up there is known as a segment of a circle. So we are going to have equal segments being one, two, three, four. Four equal segments. But the ones that are shaded around the three. So for us to get the total area of the four segments, we will subtract the area of a circle minus the area of a square. So we will say the area of the four segments is equal to so we will now say is equal to area of a circle minus area of the square. So our area becomes 154 minus 98. So which gives us 56 centimeters square. So that is the area of all the four segments. And the ones that are shaded around the three, one, two, three. So this is how we do it. We will ask ourselves if four segments have area of 56 centimeters square. So what about three segments? How many, how, how many square centimeters are going to represent three segments? So we will say three times 56 divided by four. So how many times is four going to 56? Four comes to four once, it goes there 14 times. So 14 times four is 56. Then we multiply it by 3. So 3 times 14. This will give you 42. So the area of the shaded part, the area of the shaded part is equal to 42 centimeters square. Thank you. I've answered you. See you next time.